This message brought to you by Sambo and Honky. In today's video, we're looking at this light setup because it is sufficient for night running rivers that I already know. For running rivers I don't know, I would probably tend to want to run them during daylight, not during the night. So here we're starting with a boat that is approximately level and we'll get some uh, degree measurements for the light tilts from level. And this front light is a 32 inch bar and uh, so 85 degrees that means it's tilted down by 5 degrees. And you can see it's a double row. I don't know how many watts or lumens it is. Uh, when it comes to uh, these light bars the watt and lumen ratings are kind of bullshitty. So you know, just kind of look at it and say well that's how big it is. It puts out a lot of light. And looking from down below here you can see that the lights on the roof will not shine off of the bow. So they're set back just far enough so that the, the roof actually blocks them from lighting up the bow and making a lot of glare. So now we're looking at the side pods on the roof. And this one's about uh, 77.4 degrees so it's tilted down about 12 and a half degrees. And this one's tilted down a little less, you know, 10 degrees plus a little bit. And the bigger lights on the top are at 83 degrees, so that's about a 7 degree down tilt. And the longer bars on top, the, uh, the middle one is 8 inches and the, the two on the side are 22 inches. And these are actually Harbor Freight models and you know, Harbor Freight stuff, sometimes it's pretty crappy, sometimes it's pretty good. Well, it looks like their, their lights are actually really good and the, uh, the mounting hardware on, on the side is, is actually pretty solid. It's uh, actually better than the, uh, the light on the bow. It's just, that just has little quarter inch bolts. I stripped those out right away. The second or third time I uh, put the lights on so I had to drill those out. And Anyway, the Harbor Freight stuff is holding up really well. And here we've got a digital protractor on the the, the larger lights on the sides are tipped off just a little bit and it's telling us 8.3 degrees off to the side. And I was having trouble standing on the side of the bow without falling off while taking the measurement on this one so you'll just have to trust me that uh, this pod is off about 32 degrees uh, from forward and there's a measurement I just couldn't hold myself on the bow, take the measurement and run the camera all at the same time. And this rear pod is about 25 degrees from sideways. Again, you just have to trust me, uh, there's the measurement. Uh, it's upside down, 25. And this whole thing is attached to this grab rail with these U-bolts. Uh, They're galvanized, not stainless. I tried stainless at first, uh, but they tend to kind of gall up and so they'll jam up and you won't be able to take the bolts off without you know, cutting, the, cutting the bolts off. That's just kind of the way stainless is. So if you just want to install it and leave it there forever, then stainless will work. But if you want to take it off, then probably go with galvanized. And here's a little switch box that I added on top of the dash. I didn't feel like drilling holes into the dash to add more lights. So there's the roof lights. So they're on two, two separate circuits. That way if one circuit blows, I'll still have some lights. And then there's the, the original bow light. And because the uh, power requirements of these lights is kind of bullshitty, you know, the advertised stuff is just not correct, um, you probably want to get the lights, uh, figure out how many amps they draw, and then decide how big the wire should be, rather than just uh, taking the published, uh, you know, if it says it's 500 watts, no, it's nowhere near 500 watts. Um, so you, you can end up with a lot smaller wires than you think, and you won't have to add a, a, a bigger alternator just to power your lights. And you can figure out the amperage either using an ampermeter or just put a fuse in line and see uh, how small the fuse you can go before it blows. And then, uh, then you know about how many amps the, the system is drawing. This message brought to you by Sambo and Honky.